Hello. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alana if you're new here. It's currently Tuesday. It's 7.35 a.m. I set my alarm for 8 um, to let myself sleep in, but I woke up at 7.10, so we're just rolling with it. Um, I want to get out of the habit of letting, when like my body wakes me up, naturally like making myself go back to bed because I feel like that just makes me more tired. I'm going to get dressed and then I think I'm going to make a coffee at home and go on a little walk. I've been really liking evening workouts, so I feel like I'm gonna do that again today, not work out in the morning. But today is kind of a big day. I had, I don't know if I should talk about this yet, but you know, it's been a very emotional few months since May. I've had a few family things that I've never really opened about on here and I'm not ready to open up about those things today. For a while now I have been debating going off on my own and working for myself and kind of giving myself the chance to see and so today is day one of doing that. It's just kind of crazy and I want to document this whole experience for you and like also for myself so I can look back and see like where my mind was at like when I first started so today one today is day one of being self-employed I don't know what title I'm gonna give myself I don't want to be a creator I don't want to be an influencer I'm an entrepreneur that's my title so I'm just gonna let myself take it easy for the next few days do some tasks but i just never have taken a proper proper break from work i did school continuously like even in the summer when i was working part-time jobs i was doing school and then in may 2021 i started working full-time while still doing school and when i graduated i left one job and started another job like literally over a weekend so I'm just letting myself have a few days to just take it easy and then we're gonna get hustling but I'm really really excited I have started to create I already had like the business plan like kind of made but it wasn't like highly detailed so I'm really excited to make myself like a little business plan and to set goals and intentions and I don't know I'm really excited. I'm sure you guys are all confused. I'll talk about it more when I'm ready, but more of the story is today is day number one of working for myself. We have a lovely cotton candy sky in front of us. I'm also doing this new thing called skin cycling. I discovered it on TikTok and essentially it's a four day cycle. The first day is exfoliate, the second day is retinol, and then the next two days are recover so you don't use any exfoliants or products and it's essentially to help clear your skin and heal the skin barrier so i'm on day four today tomorrow we'll start again i'm breaking out a bit here but i don't know i'm feeling hopeful people see results in as little as two weeks i kind of wish i took before and after photos but it's fine anyways i'm gonna go Get ready I did self tan last night <laughs> I'm kind of messed this up but look how dark it is this is the st. Tropez gradual tan um, definitely not gradual I've done it I did it last night and the night before and it's pretty dark if I do say so myself so I'm gonna go get ready make coffee on a little walk I want to go to a bookstore today. I'm gonna go to Type, I think. Shayna told me about it. I've walked past it a million times, like a local bookstore. But now that I have the time, I really want to read The Daily Stoic and Atomic Habits and make it a part of my morning routine now that I have that flexibility because there are things that I wanted to do for a really long time. I wanna get into reading like a lot more like entrepreneurial books. I know JC Marie kind of, um, 
does like she'll have like a self-help type book in physical and then on her iPad she'll have well on her Kindle I think or Kobo or something she'll have like a not like a fiction novel so I think I want to do something like that but I'm gonna stop talking your face off because it's been like five minutes and I'm gonna go wash my face and get dressed I did a great job today, guys. Ah, sorry if I'm boring you with this coffee content, but it just, it brings me so much joy. I decided to put on a sweatsuit. Apparently it feels like negative two outside, so I'm gonna put my new Aritzia jacket on. We're excited about that, but we did good today. We did good today, ladies. Another day, another beautiful espresso shot. I ended up deciding on wearing this leather jacket because I think I might actually want to exchange the jacket for an extra small and I haven't decided so I don't want to take the tags off. Got my coffee. I'm going to take this package to Penguin Pickup to ship out. Um, Skims accidentally sent me like every single bra possible um, so I have to return that back to them and I've been putting it off so I'm going to go do that. Walk around a little bit and... Maybe I'll head to the bookstore that I wanted to go to. I'm not sure what time it opens. I'll have to check that. But if you can hear, I have a head cold, so my voice is not here. Um, but I have a podcast recording with Carolina at 11. And then I'm going to meet Nicole for coffee at around 12, 1230. Um, so yeah, I feel like <laughs> this is wild. The fact that I can do this. Okay. Bye, guys. Hello. I changed outfits sweater is revolve jeans are my new levi's they're the dad jean jacket is my thrifted danier jacket shoes are 550s i'm gonna go grab coffee and a bite with nicole we're going to milu never been there but i'm excited i called my uber because i finished my podcast recording with carolina a bit later and then i'll walk home and i'll stop at the bookstore and it will be Great. After grabbing coffee with Nicole I picked up two books they didn't have the daily stoic which is one of the ones that I wanted I got the daily stoic and I got attached I'm gonna start reading attached now I'm gonna read um, atomic habits in the morning but I think I'm gonna put aside 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the afternoon to read um, we'll see how that goes but I made myself a nice coffee I'm gonna sit and read and then I'll probably work out a bit later I ordered groceries so you know just taking it easy <laughs>
I just finished doing my five minute journal and then my 20 minutes of reading. I started reading Atomic Habits. I really like it so far. I don't know, I feel like it's perfect timing for me to be reading something like this. And I made my morning coffee. I'm about to walk over to Jaybird. I'm gonna be doing the burn. It's just like hot Pilates. Um, style class full body it's so gloomy outside i really hope it gets sunny because i need to film content for a brand but the lighting in here is just like not great when it's gloomy so we'll have to see about that hope for the best and then afterwards i'm gonna meet sab sabrina um to grab some coffee and i'm gonna meet her puppy her baby golden doodle not golden doodle golden retriever um carter so i'm really excited about that and yeah that's what we have planned so far for today i'm gonna record a podcast later for my podcast morning ray make sure to check that out if you haven't checked it out already and yeah this is the fit we're wearing just this Aritzia zip up situation, my 437 micro bra, and then my Lulu Align leggings, 437 crew socks, and I'll probably wear my Ultra Mini Uggs or my Boston's. I'm just so basic, guys. Um, okay, let's go. I don't want to be late. Um, my new, I'm in my era of being on time. good I haven't done it in a while felt really good to be in the infrared heat I'm walking home we pushed coffee with Sab to 1130 because she just has something running late which gives me time to shower before I see her um which will be nice because I get really sweaty with the Jaybird quick little turnaround Wearing the shirt from Aloe, Levi Dad Jeans, Danier Vintage Leather Jacket, Reeboks, and then we go. It's as big as her. I <laughs> love. hot set guys I'm about to record a podcast I'm really excited to record this podcast I don't think I've ever been so excited to record a podcast episode in my life and I think it's kind of crazy because like an hour or so ago I literally did not know what I wanted to talk about but we're gonna light a candle to set the mood these are my favorite candles I mean this is my first one but they smell incredible somehow the wick got to the side the vibes are set we're gonna take a deep breath in i feel like this is gonna be a good one i feel really good about it it is my first podcast episode recording and release as being self-employed it's gonna be monumental and now we're gonna release all expectations and we're just gonna go for it i gave myself the chills but also, um, the topic of this episode is the topic that I want to talk about in a TED Talk. I'm debating applying for the TED Talk at Ryerson or TMU. So, if this goes well, I think maybe it will give me the confidence to 
finally finished my submission. So we're gonna record, ladies. We got this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Hello, good morning angels, and welcome back to Morning Ray. I'm your host, Lan or Alana, and I just want to put a disclaimer. My voice... Kitchen's kind of a hot mess, but my groceries just got delivered. So we're gonna do a little grocery haul. First off, got a cucumber. Got two zucchinis because I saw Rachel made like grilled zucchini and made me miss that. I got two red peppers because I want to make Bella Hadid's salad. That's also why I got the cucumber. Eggs because I needed eggs. These are free range eggs. I really like the Conestoga farm ones. I got fennel because I really like the chicken fennel salad that I made from Steph's recipes. So I wanted to make it again. It's also really good for digestion. Pretzel crisps for snacking and to dip in hummus. Frozen mango for smoothies. Rice cakes because I've been craving rice cakes with like nut butter and strawberries or like banana. Almond butter, self-explanatory. Greek yogurt, I like this brand. Got some cherry tomatoes and then i got spinach and arugula spinach mostly for smoothies and then arugula and also spinach can also be used for bases and salad sweets from earth sugar-free brownies these are really yummy and they're a nice little sweet treat and if you're watching like what you're eating or if you're just like trying to be a bit more mindful these are really great because it still satisfies your sweet tooth but they're actually quite balanced in protein, carbs, and fats, and the ingredients are pretty good. So, nice little treat. It comes with like six of them. You keep them in the fridge. But that's my little grocery haul. I had carrots that I originally bought for soup, but then I never got all the ingredients and they're gonna start to go bad. So I found this recipe for carrot fries on Instagram last night and I saved it and so I made them and they're really really yummy. You can make them with this dip a little Veggie bowl. So I have chicken. I got like a rotisserie chicken or like half one Never doing that again. I got really grossed out and it's a huge reason why I went vegan. So Don't do that, but it was super easy. Um, and then I have some like mixed California veg that were frozen I defrosted underneath some cooked beets and then the fries and then I put a little bit of hummus I'm just gonna go and eat this and the fries are really really yummy. I've been sitting inside for too long so I put a sweat set on slash these are white and this is gray. My Uggs, my leather jacket and we're just gonna go on a little walk. No headphones because it's dark out and it's like 10. Mom and dad don't kill me. Um, we're just gonna walk around the block. It's fairly safe in my area so a little walk. Maybe I'll talk on the phone just need to move and get some fresh air. It also stopped raining, so 